Hey there, Nostalgics! Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And this is probably one of the cooler unboxing videos that I've done here for you guys, and this is also probably the newest game that I have actually ended up unboxing here on the show. And this would be Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Deluxe Edition on the PlayStation 5. I've really... I've been hyped for this game for the longest time. I've been looking forward to it. Final Fantasy VII is, one of my, is my favorite game of all time, period. And it's also in my top 10 list, as you may expect from that. And as soon as I heard Rebirth being announced, I knew immediately I had to pre-order the Collector's Edition, because I'm looking forward to delving into this game, playing through it, seeing where this Part 2 of the Remake Trilogy goes, and of course, all the extra cool stuff that you end up getting within the box set itself. I have a few additional things to show you guys, uh, including a pre-order item from GameStop, where I pre-ordered this Collector's Edition, as well as a cool shirt that I picked up, uh, also from GameStop. So if you're interested in any of the stuff I show off in the video, you might be able to order it secondhand online or maybe through GameStop. But regardless, guys, let's unbox this deluxe edition, see what all comes in it. As you can see, it's still wrapped. I haven't opened it yet, so my reaction will be firsthand to you guys. I'll be able to kind of convey my feelings uh, as I go through it with all of you. So but let's go through the stuff that I got for the pre-order first, and then let's actually unbox this deluxe edition of FF7 Rebirth. So guys, first of all, this is the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth hat. This was a pre-order through GameStop. Uh, pretty cool net hat. I didn't realize that this was part of the Deluxe Edition pre-order, but this was something that they chucked in and said uh, was part of it. So, nothing really too crazy on this front. It's a pretty cool hat with the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth logo on it. Uh, it's pretty adjustable, depending on your head size. Nothing too special to really talk about with this one, but it's just a pretty cool little bonus to have chucked in. So, yeah, this is the hat. This is the shirt that I ended up picking up from GameStop as well. This is the FF7 Rebirth shirt featuring all of the characters on there. Tifa, Sid, Kate Sith, Barrett, Cloud, Yuffie, Red 13, Vincent, and Aerith. It's a pretty cool shirt. I ended up going with an extra large. Shrinks on the watch ends up going down to a large. I don't know if these shirts are available anywhere else online. Honestly, if you guys search it up and you're interested, you might be able to snag one of these as well. But I don't own any clothing surrounding Final Fantasy VII, so whenever it was there at the counter when I picked up my pre-order, figured I'd get it. Looked pretty cool, so but it's a pretty cool detailed shirt. Nothing too crazy at the end of the day either, but if you're a big fan of the game and the Final Fantasy franchise, definitely worth picking up if you're interested. But this was a pretty cool shirt to pick up as well. This is the actual deluxe edition itself, guys. As you can see, still wrapped, so this is all new to me. Pretty cool intro cover there with the Meteor logo on it with Rebirth. Got the holographic lettering. Square definitely went all out on this. Back of the box here, you can kind of see what it includes. There's some screenshots of the game. And you guys can pause and read the description if you want. There's an, a steelbook case, the reversible cover for the game itself, a mini soundtrack CD, and a hardback art book. So this is pretty similar to the Final Fantasy VII Remake Collector's Edition, which I also own. I actually bought it before I owned a PS4, funnily enough. But this is the outer box of the Deluxe Edition. Let's open this thing up and see what it actually contains inside in detail. So guys, first of all, you have the base game itself here. Nothing too crazy, but that is a really cool cover with Cloud, Sephiroth, and Zack on the front. You flip around on the back, it's the back of it's the exact same as the Deluxe Edition, so nothing super crazy on that one either. Pop open the actual game itself, and in typical fashion with a lot of new games, there's not really anything crazy in here either. Just a few ads for some upcoming merchandising games from Square. You got your data disc there that you have to download first, so if you're looking to play this game, you're going to have to download that first before you actually play the game. And then the actual game disc itself, which you'll put in after the data disc downloads, in this case on your PS5. And if we pull this out, because one of the features touted for it would be the reversible cover, which the back of it's the exact same, but the front of it has the simple FF7 Rebirth logo on it. I'm actually going to, I don't know about you guys, but I actually like the detailed cover that it comes with already. So if you're someone who's into the other cover, more power to you, but this is the cover I'm going to keep. Otherwise, though, nothing too crazy with the actual game itself, but still pretty cool. Next up, we have the FF7 Rebirth Steelbook. There's a pretty cool shot of Midgar with Zack carrying Cloud outside of it. If you guys have played 7, you know exactly what this represents and what's going on. But pretty cool cover here on the front. We flip the Steelbook back around, 
pretty simple and straightforward, just an iconic image of the Buster Sword sticking out of a war-torn battlefield outside of Midgar, uh, presumably uh, where Zack died, or at least where he died originally. I haven't played Rebirth yet, so don't know how far they've changed that detail. But pretty solid steelbook. If you pop it open, there's not really anything on the inside to really note, but it is still fairly cool. You guys can see, looks like some diagrams and whatnot of the planet and some world map stuff going on. Nothing crazy for the inside, but the steelbook, while not one of the most iconic steelbooks or creative looking ones of all time, still pretty nice. You have your soundtrack CD here for FF7 Rebirth, another cool throw-in. Not going to open it up right now because it's just the music CD inside of it. But if you guys look on the back, you can see all the songs and whatnot that are included on here. Again, this is a mini soundtrack for the Deluxe Edition, so not really like a complete arrangement of the OST. But you do have like the Grass Buds, the Battle Theme, Farm Boy, On Our Way, Follow the Black Roads, Mithril Golem, Junon, Costa del Sol with Heavy Heart, Battle Edit with Heavy Heart, The Final Lap on the Chocobo Cup and the Gold Saucer, and of course the Lifestream theme or Forms of Knowledge. Uh, it's also known. So there's a number of tracks on here. Uh, personally, this is a kind of CD track that I would take with me to listen to in the car. Uh, that and it's just a really cool part of the collector's edition. Nothing too crazy on the soundtrack once again, but this is still pretty cool if you're into the music of the game. And of course, you have the hardback art book with FF7 Rebirth. And in my opinion, outside of the actual game itself, the coolest part of this collector's edition, this is definitely higher quality than the art book we got with the FF7 Remake. Uh, that one was fine, but wasn't as good of quality for the hardback cover. And if we pop it open here to... I'm not going to go through all of it. But if you look through a lot of the artwork that you got in here, you have enemy and monster designs that you face throughout the game. You got character designs in here as well for all the main cast and the side characters that you're going to be encountering, as well as different outfits that the main cast wears. So it is cool stuff overall. Uh, definitely a very detailed art book and makes part of this collector's edition worth the price to actually purchase. So if you're into that kind of stuff too, definitely a solid part of the deluxe edition. I really like this art book. And that is it for the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Deluxe Edition, guys. Uh, part of your standard video game unboxing. Uh, this is very similar to the FF7 Remake Collector's Edition. And honestly, I pre-ordered this because there's downloadable content with it. And I wanted to get the game as early as possible in the best version available. Uh, which is the Deluxe Edition. There is a Collector's Edition that is a step up from this one with a Sephiroth statue and everything else. Uh, obviously, it's not available to purchase at a GameStop or anywhere else. I believe that was exclusive to the Square Enix store. So, But I'm satisfied with what I have. This is the best base version of the game to buy right now. And there were some cool goodies that I got with the hat and the shirt in addition to buying the Deluxe Edition. If you're all interested in purchasing this one now, I would recommend going online and picking up a copy of it for yourself. It's a solid collector's edition. Uh, the art book and the game are definitely standouts. The soundtrack's all right. And, of course, you have the other components of it as well uh, with the game and the reversible cover and everything else. So you do get a few things with this deluxe edition that it makes it worth picking up. So... But that's it for the unboxing today. Let me know what you guys think about FF7 Rebirth in the comment section down below. If you're playing it right now, if you want to play it, if it's just something that's not interesting to you. If you guys picked up a copy of the Collector's Edition, what you guys think about it. And just overall what you thought about the video. But if you guys did enjoy it, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to catch future retro gaming reviews, gaming collaborations with other creators in the community, unboxing videos, and every other type of content we do on the channel. Then subscribe to keep up with that. And of course, comment your thoughts and feelings on this down below. But until next time, guys, this has been Ryan from the Nostalgia Factor saying, keep on gaming.